Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this past week. Following a seven-day hearing in March, a B.C. Supreme Court judge ruled Friday that Robert Riley Saunders admitted fraud against the Ministry of Children and Family Development directly deprived some of the youth in his care of funds that they were entitled to. Saunders, a former guardianship social worker with the ministry, admitted to stealing more than $460,000 over a six-and-a-half-year period, but he claimed the youth in his care were never entitled to the funds. Over the seven-day hearing, the Crown argued that some of the youth in his care were deprived, and the judge ultimately agreed, while ruling that all of the youth were put at risk of deprivation. The Crown will argue this is an aggravating factor in the case during sentencing submissions next month. Highway 5 north of Kamloops was closed all through Friday night after police shot a man just after 10 p.m. Officers responded to the highway just south of Barrier for a report of a man who may have been carrying some type of weapon. Police did not provide details about the interaction, but officers shot the man and he was taken to the hospital for treatment. The highway remained closed until 7 a.m. the next morning. The Independent Investigations Office is now investigating the shooting. With cooler temperatures across the province this spring, snow has been falling high at higher elevations. Environment Canada issued several alerts over this past week, warning of snowfall on the Okanagan Connector and the Coquihalla, and 10 centimeters of snow fell on the Connector over Friday night. The slippery conditions led to many vehicle crashes on the highways throughout the week. And these cool conditions and late season snow have delayed the spring melt across BC. Typically, about 18% of the annual snowpack has melted by this time of year, but just 2.6% has now melted across the province. With the snowpack as high as it is, the River Forecast Centre warns that prolonged rapid warming could bring the potential for flooding in some areas. And the Penticton Vs are officially the top team in the BCHL, after winning the Fred Page Cup Wednesday night. The Vs final game of their championship season with a decisive 8-2 win against the Nanaimo Clippers. They swept the Clippers 4-0 in their final series and only dropped one game throughout the entire playoffs. The team will be celebrating their victory with a parade in Penticton on Tuesday. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.